Hey everyone, so I'm back with another guitar tutorial today and I'm going to be showing you how to play Nothing New which is a brand new song from Taylor Swift from the vault of her re-release of Red, Taylor's version which is absolutely incredible and I love this song and it's super easy for beginner guitarists to learn so I thought it'd be a great song to put up on my YouTube channel and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial so first of all, like always in my guitar tutorials, I'm going to be showing you all the chords you need for the song and exactly how to play them. And then I'm going to be talking through the strumming pattern and also going to be singing through the song while I play the chords so you can get with the rhythm and how to sing along while you're playing. So I'm going to put the capo on the first fret for this song. You can put the capo wherever best suits your voice, but this is how it sounds in the recording. And the first chord you're going to be needing for the song is a C chord. So it's going to be your first fret second string, your second fret fourth string, and your third fret fifth string. And the chord sounds like this. The next chord you're going to be needing is an A minor chord. So it's going to be your first fret second string, your second fret fourth string and third string. And the chord sounds like this. The next chord you're going to be needing is an A minor chord. So it's going to be your second fret fifth and fourth string, and the chord sounds like this. The next chord you're going to be needing is an F chord, and it's going to be, this is the simple version of playing the F chord, you can play it with the bar if you'd like to, but the simple version is going to be your first fret, first and second string barred, and then your second fret, third string, and your third fret, fourth string, and the chord sounds like this. The next chord you're going to be needing for the song is a C over B chord, so it's going to be your first fret second string and your second fret fifth string and the chord sounds like this and the last and final chord you're going to be needing for the song is a G chord and it's going to be your third fret sixth string second string and first string and your second fret fifth string and the chord sounds like this so nice and simple chords the only one that's slightly different is the C over B and it's just an extra touch to the song to make it sound really pretty the strumming pattern you're going to be needing for the song is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So we're going to be starting with the first verse. And the chords are going to be going in order of C, A minor, E minor, F, and then G. So I'm going to be singing along and playing so I can show you how that goes. And excuse me if I look up, because I've got the lyrics just above me so I can remember them. So that's why I'm looking up. So it goes like this. chorus which is Lord what will become of me once I've lost my G. and then we go into the chorus now the chorus is going to be F G C C over B and then A minor and it's going to follow in sequence like that so I'm going to be playing along and singing so you can see how that goes with the lyrics We go back into the second verse. How long will it be cute? All this crying in my room. When you can't play with all my youth, roll your eyes with affection. And my cheeks are going tired. I'm turning red and thinking of smiles. Are we all? Thank you. 
lights up the room. And then we're going to be moving on to the bridge, which is going to be F and then two strums of the G and then back to the F. So I'm going to be showing you how that goes. And then you kind of go on to the C and you go the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And then we go back into the chorus and it's just going to be one strum for this chorus so it's going to be i've had too much to drink tonight but i wonder if they'll miss me once they drive me out i wake up in the middle of the night and it's like i can feel time moving how can a person know For that end chorus you can kind of play with it a little bit like she extends the lines of and you'll still want me so you can just kind of go back from back and forth from the f and the g as many times as you want and be a little bit creative with it but that is basically how you play the whole song it's quite simple it's quite easy to play with the strumming pattern and the chords and i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial please hit that subscribe button for more videos like this and if you want to comment down recommendations of any songs from Taylor Swift's albums I'm happy to do that I'm also listening to the new Ed Sheeran album which I think is fantastic so if you want any songs from the new Ed Sheeran album as well be sure to mention that down below and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time